Watch out, spread out. Here we go. Get ready. They go around and they audition, and then um, then he picks a special group of kids, and they all go to Lincoln Center every Saturday. And at the end of the year, they put on a big show. So already, I've got a structure. They start in September. They put on the show in June. So I'm, I've already got a pretty good thing going here. I know that I'm going to start here and end there. And the question is, what's in the middle? What? This is the very opening of the film. And what I'm trying to do now is get you up and running, educate you. Who is this? What's going on? Do I like it? Is it fun? I'm teaching you kind of the, the landscape of the film at the very beginning. You step to the right. One. You see how I lift my feet? Two. Jump. Three. Right away. Four. Bring it back. Five. Don't move on six for anything in the world. Even if I offer you a trip with Robert Redford to Hawaii in a jet, right? Don't move on six. One of the problems in this film, it wasn't really a problem. It turned out to be a virtue. Uh, they didn't have enough money to do sync interviews with the kids. Uh, after all the shooting was over, normally you kind of go back to the main subjects and do a really kind of exhaustive interview. And, uh, but uh, they didn't have the money, so we did voiceover interviews only. So it worked out well because that meant that the kids had to be on the screen all the time doing what they were talking about in the interview. And the only tricky part was who's, who's talking. And people have a certain need to understand who they're listening to. And my job was to marry the appropriate thoughts with appropriate faces that somehow you didn't ask that question very hard. You know, you kind of just said, oh yeah, I can see that that kid's having trouble and the voiceover is telling you all I'm trying to do is not get thrown out. And the two, the, the, the voiceover line and the picture of the kid marry together and the movie just rolls. Now, at first, I didn't think, well, dancing, it's not for me, but I figured I'd try it anyway. I had no idea what it was. I just knew it was something fun. When I, when I pleased him, I felt very proud of myself. I didn't even know who he was. My mother had to explain, and I said, I was talking to this famous ballet dancer right in front of my face. And at the end of the year, the big show was like, you know, two hours long. Fortunately, they did two rehearsals, so I had a lot of options in the cutting of it. Um, but it was, you know, as I said, it was an after-school special, and NBC had a really aggressive awards department. So they sent it to film festivals. And back in the early 80s, you know, if you could pretty much qualify for the Academy Awards for by winning anything. So they put it in for an Academy Award and it won. You know, and I said, this is good. <laughs> That's two and three years. I said, I, fig I figured I was golden then. If children are involved in the arts by functioning in them at an early age, the arts will always be part of their life. The energy and the effort and the work, all those words that you think are no fun, are fun <laughs> when you're involved in the arts. Okay, you made it.